Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spillfriendly and Fellowship. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is an unboxing of the new Dwarf um, Warriors of the Iron Hills from Forgeld and Games Workshop. Um, now we didn't get the time to do a um, Facebook Live review of these uh, during the Articon weekend but we are doing one now so I put up the camera in my workshop and um, Hopefully it will be a better quality video than the um, unboxing we did in the hotel room of the Ballista uh, on the Friday night. Um, Alright, so let's just get right into the action and uh, show you the models now. So this is the second unboxing we're going to do for the new Iron Hills Dwarves. Now, uh, we wanted to do this live on Facebook as well as um, as publish it on YouTube, but uh, <laughs> being at Articon, uh, we had a great time and it was such a lovely event, but it did stretch on a bit long at times, so we didn't have time to film between um, between all the, the other things that were going on. So, what we have here is the Iron Hills Dwarf set. Now this is of course again um, wonderful box art from uh, from Forgeold. It is Lord Rings and the Hobbit Strash of Earth game. Uh, you have Forgeold on the side, so these will be available at forgeold.co.uk for purchase. Um, pure white box again. Um, nothing fancy. We'll get to the fancy one tomorrow. So what do we have here? Now inside the box you will find a um, a plastic uh, blister box with loads of components. Now you should find uh, about what would it be uh, 36, 48 components in total, including the bases. Now the dwarves come in three parts. It is the dwarf warrior. It is the shield has snapped off there and that oh, clean snap that is wonderful so the the shield snapped off um, normally you would um, get some removal of the actual shield but it snapped clean off so there's no worries here at all awesome and then you have these guys now this is the star of the uh, kit. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go. These are the most fantastic spears I have ever seen on a model. This is absolutely gorgeous. You have the points, the vent points, so the, uh, the spears aren't damaged in transport. And then, actually, I could do like this, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Then you have the intricate negative space on the actual spare tip. And they have a very fine point, and that's my only worry with this kit that they will snap off at some point. And then it's, of course, the uh, upper arm or just the hand of the model uh, attached to the attached to the uh, the arm there so these are very straight these wouldn't need any fixing at all ever so slightly ever so slightly bent just a tiny amount so I may just run over it with a hairdryer and just just the angle, just a fraction, but it is hardly noticeable. Hardly. Okay, so let's have a look at the quality. So first, the shields. We have looked at the spares already, and now we have the shields. So you can see again that there's very, very fine lines on the shields. Now this isn't wood grain, this is uh, due to the casting process uh, of casting a uh, master model that is 3D printed. Uh, but with a coat of um, 
with a coat of, uh, of base um, base coat or, or primer this will be hardly noticeable uh, and also if you if you want you can you can mm -hmm. just um, do a bit of um, there's a scale 75 does a uh, thing we can use acetone or resin to just remove the top layers of paint I think you can do this as well on here just paint it on then add water to neutralize it don't remember what it called um, Nano Dave if you're watching this please uh, please comment with the name of the actual product please because uh, I can't remember at all so you have the very very fine not sausage fingers at all on this side uh, on the back I will paint this in sub assemblies so I will assemble the dwarf with the spear and the body on the base and then I'll paint the shield separate and then glue them on uh, after the fact so I can get all the wonderful detail on the model uh, but this is so stunning uh, there's no wood grain on the back uh, I believe the dwarves would have a whole metal shield um, yeah the, the, oh, these are so good so you get 12 shields in a pack uh, you of course get an extra set of uh, six spears so and these are actually different so these are unique models so these would be the same though these would be exactly the same same as these two it would seem Let's see here yeah these are exactly the same but then you have two with the uh, hand and uh, lower arm on the lower end of the shaft and then you have it on the middle end of the shaft and these are actually actually different as well these two on the far uh, far right so it gives you a good amount of um, of modeling options there and they are numbered as well so they might line up with a spe um, specific dwarf oh, okay <coughs> so we have the 12 shields then we have a ton of bases <coughs> just get these out of the way and then we have six dwarfs now oh, one of them snapped off oh. we'll have a look at this one okay so the one that is snapped off of course the only contact point is the underside of the actual legs now that gives you the the it, it won't hurt the model if it is damaged uh, under the foot just glue it onto the base and you're fine mm -hmm. and these are absolutely stunning again the exact amount of detail that it is on the uh, the crew members of the uh, of the blister that we showed you yesterday it is so wonderful uh, I bought 36 of these worries I will I will pass on for uh, one one box because I wouldn't ever need uh, 24 of them. I looked at the scenarios, I would only need 24 Iron Hills Warriors for the scenario packs. And of course I had a look at the rule book and they will be available uh, at some point in time with crossbows and they will, will be available at some point with, uh, with no spares, I would believe, or you can convert them without the spares. But um, I think having 24 of these and 12 crossbows, uh, Dane, two blisters will make a wonderful army. Uh, as long as you have gold trials as well. I want the goats and chariots. I want everything. <laughs> 500 points for the chariot with the uh, with a named crew on them. <laughs> That's absolutely cool. So yeah, these dwarves are very very cool. They have um, they have swords on them. And in the rule book, they have swords, so no piecing striking with these guys at all. But you wouldn't need to. You wouldn't want to. Defense 8. Uh, even if you lose, you never die. So, all of these are unique. So you have four unique models, four more unique models, and we already showed you the last unique models. So when ranked up, these will make the shield wall in two ranks. So, I am so much looking forward to getting these together. I might just go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. So, 
Uh, that will uh, will do it for for this unboxing. I think um, for this uh, there isn't any issues with the casting quality. We had a small issue with the ballista um, that we did yesterday, but um, there aren't any mold lines at all. Uh, I can't see any any mold lines with these. Uh, they will only need like, removing the vents. Oh, sorry. Removing the vents around the, um, the sword and uh, some other vents on it. And after that, there isn't anything to do with them. You just put them on the base. And you paint them. Well, you will have to. Uh, we'll have to just have it in soapy water first, though. You would need to do that. So. This is an expert modeler's kit, uh, of course it is, uh, so it will need some careful hand um, when assembling. But yeah, 10 out of 10, perfect score, 6 on a D6. That is my vote on these. These are the most beautiful models for rank and file troops I have ever seen for SPG nearly gives a tear to my eye <laughs> so uh, so yeah uh, might be because I'm a bit tired as well <laughs> alright so um, as always please comment, like, share and subscribe and support your Hobbit Hobby